welcome to Texas Haunted Channel. Hope everyone's having a blessed day. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. So in this video, I'm going to be taking the stock K20 injectors out of the K20A3. And I'm going to be flow testing a factory K20A3 injector with a decapped K20A3 injector. Showing you the difference and how much flow we can get out of the stock injector decapped. I'm going to show you how to decap it and go over the benefits. So if you're new here, please click that subscribe button and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with the flow test of the factory injector and then the decapped. Um, so right now I'm using the Autool machine. This is the CT160. I'll put a link in the description for this when I got it on Amazon. This is an awesome machine, but I have it on the high speed test and the fuel pressure is at 60 PSI which is about what I'm running in the truck on this current setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it. And once the fuel gets up to pretty much at the injector, I'll stop and go a couple times and then we'll see exactly where it sits. that's a pretty good little test there so right here it is at the 40 mark on the beaker uh, for the factory injector same PSI um, and on the decapped it is at 70 so that makes these 270 cc injectors um, once they're 270 cc you decap them then they will be about 440 cc injectors I don't know the full math on this I'm just going off of what I was told but uh yeah, it's pretty interesting to see that much extra fuel, which is exactly what we need for this truck. Um, right now, the stock injectors are limited, and as soon as I start building up to about five pounds of boost, uh, it starts leaning out. So this should help solve that for the low boost. Um, I will be having to put bigger injectors in soon, but I'm going to show you exactly how to decap these, and uh, then we'll put them in the truck and take it out for a pool. Okay, so doing this part, you need to be very careful. I'm going to be using a vise, um, so just make sure not to tighten it down too tight or anything like that because you can crack the injector and that would just be very bad and you wouldn't be able to use it. So I'm just going to gently put it in the vise. Then using some pliers or vise grips, I'm going to get it to where it's barely biting down on this plastic cap. And sometimes these are hard to remove, sometimes they're easy. Just take this plastic cap off, you won't need it anymore. And here, close, you can see on this injector, there's like a machine weld. It's like a pinch weld basically all the way around. You're going to want to grind that pinch weld off. It is very hard to see. Um, let me try to get a picture for you on screen so you can see exactly what I'm talking about that weld you will have to gently grind off all the way around and once that's grinded off of there um, you want to be very careful not to hit the center part you just want to hit the edges and then the cap comes off and that's all it is to decapping so i'm going to go ahead and do that using a grinder being as careful as i can Okay, it's kind of hard to see, but here's a little picture. You can kind of see where the crack is at. That's it separating the cap. So we have just a little bit more to do, and then it'll be fully off. Okay, check this out. You can kind of see the cap there is separating. I can actually peel it with my fingers, and that is the cap. You want to be very careful not to grind in the center though for this reason you can see there is a spot right there in the center you don't want that to be grinded on so it's actually a pretty simple task to decap the injectors but now i'm going to go ahead and do that method to the other three and then we will put these things in and take it for a spin 
Okay, so after you decap them and install them, you cannot just do this without a tune. You have to change settings in the computer. If you don't, this thing will run absolutely rich because the computer doesn't know that you put bigger injectors in. So it's giving 40% duty cycle, for example, to a small injector, but 40% duty cycle to a big injector, that's a lot of fuel. So it doesn't know the change, so we will have to go into Honda and change some stuff, but I will show you that here in just a moment. Okay, so right here we have the tune that Michael set up for me. We're going to go to the parameters, and you're going to want to find the fuel injectors tab, which I already have open right here. And to the top left says 310cc. Um, these are 270ccs, but it has 310 already set in the system for whatever reason. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change that to 440cc. And since it has the same dead times, we don't have to adjust any of the dead times. But if you have aftermarket injectors, you'll have to put in the correct dead times. They should come with the injectors. But after that's done, basically just hit this upload button and upload it right into the computer. And then we can uh, see how it runs and adjust the fuel accordingly. All right, I'm going to take it for a spin and see how it does. I'm going to be data logging it so we'll know. And uh, we'll go over it when I get back. Wow, that is incredible. All right, I'll go over the data log. Okay, so right here is where I floored it, and you can see the boost builds up to about 5.9 PSI right there, and we are at 63% duty cycle. So these injectors have quite a bit more left in them, which is absolutely incredible. Um, the air fuel ratio, let me change this real quick to closed loop. Right there, we were. 11s lower 11s and high 10 so we can definitely make some more power by leaning this out uh, high 11 is preferred like 11 90s that's that's pretty optimal um, so it was pretty quick and the air fuels are still kind of a little bit uh, rich now up here we got some 12s like 12 0 12 5 or 12.25 that's pretty good that definitely felt powerful in second gear compared to first and then third gear we had uh, some 11s and 12s as well. So definitely helped. As you can see right here, the map, it says map 6.2 PSI. Don't mind the vehicle speed since I don't have a speedometer input. It's just stuck at 40, 49 miles an hour. That's just so that Feedtech engages and all that. But 
definitely awesome. We could lean it up just a little bit more, gain just a little bit more power out of it. All right, so I would definitely recommend decapping injectors if you don't have enough money to go out and buy big injectors and you're just running low boost like what I'm at. I think probably up to about eight or nine PSI, these injectors would be perfectly fine. Um, if this was the better K series, the K20A2 or the K24A2, and it had the bigger cams, um, then these injectors would probably be closer to maxed out because it would breathe better, so it would require more fuel. Either way, it is definitely pulling really hard. I never expected the truck to pull this hard, to be honest. I just wanted to have some fun with it. Um, and there's still more to come, for sure. So this is only the beginning, so I am super happy with how the decapped injectors work on it. So I definitely recommend it, without a doubt. Uh, they do flow a lot better than factory, and decapping them is pretty simple. And you can get to a junkyard and grab some cheap uh, K24 or Acura TL injectors are the exact same as the ones that are in here. Uh, they're the 270ccs. They're direct bolt-in, so no modification required for the K20. So uh, if you guys are wanting to decap, I definitely recommend doing it, but you have to get it tuned and adjust everything accordingly, or it will not work. So don't just throw big injectors in and go, why the heck is my car not running right? Well, it's because they don't know that they're bigger. The computer is still set at those settings. So I put four, 440cc injectors on the uh, Honda K Pro, and then I subtracted, I believe it was 60% fuel over both maps, low cam profile and high cam profile to get uh, it in the optimal range. And then we can adjust little bits by there. So, um, yeah, it's definitely making some progress. We will try to get it on the dyno as soon as I get a little bit more power out of it. But for right now, I am absolutely loving it. I'm really curious what it makes on the dyno as it is. But all that will come in the future. Still have some other things to worry about. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely happy with it. But uh, yeah, that's it for this video. I just wanted to give you a decent little video on how to decap and the benefits and pulling through the gears because you guys deserve to see this thing in action and there will definitely be more coming. I can't wait to take it out and get some drifting done and some blowing those tires off so I can replace them with some good ones. Yeah, definitely a lot of cool stuff coming. So uh, definitely subscribe if you're new here. I greatly appreciate it if you hit that like button and share the video on social media. It helps tremendously. Or just share it with your friends and family. Um, we have more coming. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And as I like to say, God bless. Stay safe. Stay awesome.